The Don Bosco Global Youth Film Festival is a contest for young people between 15 and 30 years old. It's organized by the Salesians. They'll be giving out about $115,000 in cash prizes to films about hope. Mr. Pipou is one of the finalists. Films in France, it tells the story of a young woman who is stuck at home, alone, during the pandemic. A total of 1,686 movies were presented at the festival. About 300 were from India and Iran. A total of 116 countries participated. Ángel Fernández, director of the Salesians, explains that the goal of the festival is to promote creativity among young people in a difficult period like the pandemic. In these 18 months, so heavily burdened by the pandemic and lockdowns everywhere, why not do something to give voice to young people by letting them do what they do best, and that's expressing themselves through music, art, and cinema. Today, a young person with a phone can work wonders, something that I, as an older person, cannot do. The presentation highlighted the importance of young people taking advantage of their energy and fresh ideas in this historic moment. This initiative has reached the whole world, Salesians and non-Salesians. The award ceremony will be held in Turin, Italy on November 18th and 19th. The award ceremony will be held in Turin, Italy on November 18th and 19th. The finalist movies will be screened. Anyone who is unable to attend can follow the event online. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android, in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy, all this in a short and direct format, brief videos of one to two minutes, so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now, download the Rome Reports app, and follow Pope Francis everywhere.